Hey, I'm Erica Bell. Welcome back. If you're new here, I am a home organizer and I'm glad that you're here. Let's get right into it. Spring has sprung. Spring is springing. It's a perfect time to kind of freshen up your life. You know, we kind of feel a natural pull this time of the year to like do some spring cleaning, that type of thing. So here are four areas of your life to freshen up this season. Number one is inside your home. So yes, we often think of spring cleaning and just kind of tidying up around the house, cleaning, literally cleaning our things, um, but go a little bit deeper than that. Where can you, by, by deeper than that, I guess I literally mean deep cleaning, okay? So when is the last time you cleaned the inside of your fridge? How about the inside of your microwave or your oven? baseboards, those types of things, it's a perfect time to kind of get into those detailed parts of your house, get a fresh, clean start for the new season. Okay, and then switching away from cleaning, but still inside your home, update some of your decor. So as you can see behind me, I have not done this yet. So I still have, these are definitely darker winter, kind of moodier pieces. We want to freshen them up kind of like what I'm wearing, you know, adding some bright colors, taking away the heaviness of the winter season, bringing those outside elements in just again, pastels, florals, all of those things kind of add to the lightness of, of spring of this new season. So again, you don't have to go out and buy anything, although you can just switch it out with maybe some things that you already have. It'll kind of feel new again and you can really embrace this season and then also with your bedding so change out your bedding now listen i love a down comforter or a, a faux down comforter i would use it year round and just crank you know the ac down but my husband's not into it that's totally fine so you know we're kind of ditching those heavier quilts heavier bedding putting on a lightweight quilt just embracing the the warmth that hopefully this season will bring we're, I'm in Florida right now, it's 76 degrees. I think we'll have one more little chilly spell, but other than that, like we're we're fully in into the warmth, right? So have your bedding and stuff like that be representative of what it what it needs to, the purpose it's trying to serve, right? Those cooler sheets, lighter, lighter fabrics, all of that. The second area of your life, outside your home. So maybe you plant some new flowers. There's so many beautiful flowers that are in bloom right now or are going to be in bloom. So many different colors. Plant something either in your yard, maybe you grow a garden, maybe you decide to actually plant some type of food <laughs> and see that come in bloom this season or even just in a, a, a pot. You. You'll see it, it'll it'll freshen up your, your soul and it'll freshen up the outside of your house. Also, another thing you can do for the outside of your home, clean your windows. I know, I guess that goes, you know, we're going back to cleaning, but clean your windows. When is the last time you clean them inside, outside? Again, just really trying to embrace the outside into our homes, make it fresh, make it nice make it enjoyable. The third area is inside yourself. So what do I mean by this? This is a time to freshen your soul, your spirit, your heart, the lightness, really embrace the lightness of this season within yourself. So maybe you really, really enjoy singing and you've kind of strayed away from that. Maybe you try out for a choir. <laughs> maybe you go to church find a new church to go to. Maybe you simply volunteer somewhere that you are interested in. Maybe you just go to the library, find a reading pal. Maybe you snuggle bunnies or puppies. Anything that's gonna kind of refresh your mind, refresh your soul and spirit, do that this season. And definitely make time to be in nature. Really just appreciating the elements, the changes that the season brings and just trying to just admire it. And number four, outside of yourself. So maybe you go and buy a new shirt, something with spring colors or a new accessory, something, go shopping and get something fun or maybe you get a seasonal drink or something like that. Okay, you don't have to go shopping, but this is more, what I'm trying to say is it's, 
less inner work, it's more outer work, you know, just something that's gonna be fun for you. Maybe you just do something fun for yourself, right? It doesn't have to be, you know, spending a bunch of money, but try something new. Again, it doesn't have to be some deep spiritual thing like we were talking about with number three. Just some lighthearted, kind of easier things to do for yourself. But again, I never want you to feel like you have to spend a bunch of money to do any of these things. You certainly don't, but it is kind of a fun idea to get something new or try something new. Maybe you even do a clothing swap with your friends. You know, we get so sick of what we have. Try to do a swap. You can even initiate that within your neighborhood or just within your friend group. It's a fun way that you don't have to spend any money and you just can get something new, new to you. What are some ways that you like to embrace the season, that you like to freshen up for a new season? What do you like to do during spring? Let me know and I'll talk to you guys soon.